Is it okay if you hate school? What's up? I'm Dan Blewett. I'm a former pro baseball player. And when I was a kid growing up, I did not like school. Middle school, high school, and college, I just wanted to be outside playing sports, doing other stuff. But as I got older, you know, I'm today the author of three books. I own an online business. Um, I'm obviously a YouTube here. I have three different channels. I learned a lot about what life requires from you, what kind of skills you need, and how school kind of fits into that. So let's talk today about what to do if you're not a fan of school and how you can still be successful in the end. So if you're new here, this channel is all about me helping to give back some good advice to young men. I know I had a lot of trouble, you know, figuring out what to do with my life, and I still am not always sure. But stick around to the end. Please leave a comment. I want to hear your thoughts about school. And if you stick around, you'll get to hear how I leveraged my writing skills, which I learned that I was pretty decent at that in high school, how I leveraged that to eventually become an author of multiple books and sort of like channel all my different uh, creative like talents here into my YouTube life. All right, so let's jump in first to some of the reasons that you probably don't like school, why you feel like it's probably boring, why it doesn't challenge you challenge you sometimes, and why you feel like maybe sometimes it doesn't really fit like your personality and the things that you're interested in and the things that you're good at. When you're a kid, you realize that you don't really know how to do a lot of the stuff that you see everyone else doing, and you really want to do that stuff too. So especially in the early on, kids really seem to like school, but when they hit late middle school and then definitely into high school, the stuff you start to learn becomes a lot more theoretical, like you intangible, you can't see it, right? Like complicated math, like trigonometry, what is trigonometry, you know, physics, all this different stuff where it's interesting and it does explain a lot about the world around us, but it's often hard to figure out how this applies to my life. It's not clear how a 16 year old uses trigonometry except to do well in school and get good grades and then go to college. That seems to be the only like real application for like higher level math like that, right? So it, it gets hard, I think, when you get older because school just starts to feel like, why am I learning this? How is this helping me? And when you feel checked out like that, like I know I did, you just don't really want to try that hard. And that's understandable. So when we learn stuff that is really that kind of follows our passion or just gives us exciting new skills that we can then clearly apply to the world, it's a lot more motivating, right? The other thing that's tough about school is when you're just trying to sit still, when you're still like a young person and your body just has all this energy and you want to run around. You know, I was a pro athlete. I loved baseball. I played a lot of other sports as a kid, but baseball was always my number one. So it was really hard for me to sit inside when it's like beautiful out. I want to go run around. I want to go shoot hoops with my friends, you know, throw the baseball, just like do all these athletic things. The other thing is that a lot of people just have different learning styles, you know, some of the material, like, you know, if you're really like visual learner or you really learn by doing and like by using your hands, that that's definitely one of the ways that I learn. It can just can be really hard when some subjects just don't match up with that or some teachers and their teaching styles just aren't quite as engaging like that, right? So it's hard that we all le learn in a different way. And we all sort of process information in a different way. But I'll tell you, writing is one of the most important skills, even with the internet age and, and YouTube and all the online stuff and the creative stuff you can do. Being a good communicator by the written wor word is an increasingly rare skill. Yeah, it's not real exciting to learn all these grammar rules and to have your papers, you know, covered in red pen, like mine often were as a kid. Physics can be really exciting when you do experiments and all this different stuff. Chemistry is cool when you do experiments, but there's also a lot of really dry aspects of all those things, right? And I know one of the other frustrating things about school is that there's a lot of sometimes just memorization just for memorization's sake, right? But at the same time, I know that's one of the big struggles with lots of young people is that, you know, testing, just I'm, I feel like I'm memorizing stuff just to memorize it. Okay, so what do you do if you do not like school how do you become successful long term? How do you find your thing? How do you find your way to continue to be a good learner and develop skills that you're going to need in the real world? I'm a good example because I didn't like school. You know, I'm a bright person, um, but school didn't like really fit that well for me. I was not passionate about it. But, you know, like I'm a really good learner. I figured out by doing other things. I worked on cars in high school. Uh, I took philosophy. My degree is a is a a bachelor's in philosophy and I had a double major in psychology. And I liked thinking about all this stuff. I was good at writing, so I chose that major. And I really chose philosophy because I had a teacher in high school who was a great English teacher and who taught humanities. And that pushed me to say, okay, I like some of this Greek and Roman mythology, some of this other stuff. I think I could do this. So I did that. And I learned a lot of different skills that I was able to like apply to my business later on, apply to writing books and like, you know, creating YouTube videos like this one that are like sensible and clear and like easy to understand, hopefully. School does have an, an objective 
purpose, right? It's just about finding your niche. So let's talk about that. So number one, and this is super, super important. If you're not interested in learning a lot of the material in school, okay. But here's the thing, you do have to keep learning as a person. So that means, well, you still can't go into the real world with no skills at all. So you, what you cannot do is say, I'm not going to apply myself in school. I'm just going to go home and play video games all the time. And look, there's a time and a place for video games and all sorts of recreation. You can watch any, you can watch TV, do whatever you want to do in moderation, but you can't not apply yourself to gaining some sort of life skills. So like for me, I was learning how to work on cars in my off time in high school. I really enjoyed that. That taught me how to work with my hands, how to work with tools, how to problem solve, all these really important things, how to read a shop manual, how to go step by step, how to have attention to detail. I learned lots of other stuff outside of school that was really valuable. Even though I don't work on cars today, that's, I'm not a mechanic, I credit my adventurousness learning about cars with helping me be adventurous, adventurous with software and cameras and all this other sorts of stuff. There's a lot of skills that I've had to learn to be a decent YouTuber, right? So you can not love school, but you should still apply yourself, number one, you should try. You do need to learn still. So figure out what it is you wanna do and do it after school. You know, Go learn about painting, learn about cameras, learn about welding, learn about whatever it is, but you have to develop other skills, video editing, audio editing, screw around, you know, like creating stuff on the internet, whatever it is that you're doing, do something that helps you upskill, add skills to your life. Okay. That's number one. Number two, you do need to apply yourself in school as best you can, even if you don't like it, because you do not want to close doors. And I'll give you an example with me. College baseball, college sports, even if you're not an athlete, they're still like you have to have decent grades and a decent SAT or SAT score to get accepted to those schools. And you have to stay on track to graduate in a certain amount of time, which means passing your classes and getting a good enough GPA in college. So there's very real implications for being a good enough student to keep being a college baseball player, a football player, a basketball player, tennis player, whatever. So for me, if I just like said, screw this, I'm gonna get a 1.5 GPA, guess what? I would have closed the door on baseball for my career. And I had such an amazing pro career. I was, it was such a good part of my life. I had to do well enough in school to keep that door open. So you do not wanna close doors for yourself where now you can't go to say this college or you don't get into this trade school or whatever the scenario might be. You don't wanna get such bad grades that you close doors. And lastly, you won't know what you wanna do with your life. I'm 37 as of this. I just had a birthday last week and I still don't exactly know what I will be doing with my life in five years or 10 years. And that's okay. So take school as an opportunity to say, okay, there's things that I definitely need that are a foundation for my future that keep doors open. I also don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. So if I can just apply myself well enough, even though it's not very fun at times, even though it's pretty darn boring at times, I still want to keep, again, my doors open and I want to be open to do whatever I want to do in the future. When my interests start to go in different directions, and then I can apply myself and take off that way. Leave me a comment. What do you think about school? What do you learn outside of school? So again, you never know where your skills are going to take you. And even if you're not a big fan of school, like I wasn't, there's still a good road for you to be really successful if you're continuing to learn and develop and increase your skills so that you can apply them when the time is right. All right. So leave me a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope this video was helpful. I know school is a very polarizing subject. It was for me. Um, but you know, you got to deal with it and hopefully make the best of your future. All right. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you here in the next routine philosophy video.